And the quarterback rolls outside, fires across the middle, complete! Oh no, he's doing it again! A Miles Garrett! That's what we call it when you rip off the other team's heads and bop them with it! Wow! It was supposed to be a romantic night for these two. Hell, the kid might have even had a chance of getting laid. But Philip Rivers spoiled it for everybody. He was out there running around like a chicken with his fucking head cut off, trying to block people that didn't even exist. He couldn't throw the football. Here he is running around, gets slapped from behind, and you know you had a bad game and one of the fat boys intercepts you. Yikes. I mean, look, I know I'm going kind of hard on the guy, Peter. I mean, he had bags under his eyes and he slept an hour. He was babysitting one of his 17 fucking kids. But he wasn't even close. He was like Stevie Wonder out there on crack. He was tweaking out, throwing interceptions everywhere. So it came down to the final play, a chance to get it all back and be a hero. But guess what? Not even fucking close. Underthrown. And that is all she wrote. Kansas City wins. And you can tell Rivers' body language says it all. Depressing. Disgusting. Most importantly, shitbag titty. And that is going to be a touchdown. 16-7 to Colts. What are they doing here? Oh, my God. They are bringing him back. They used to call him the Terminator in college. He used to love to take Molly, pound beers, and slay bitches. Touchdown. Wow. And from 51 yards, a chance to give the Falcons the win. Young Hoku, the kick is up, and it's good! Except it's a fucking video game. It's not real life. This is Extra Point. He's an NFL kicker, and he fucking pulls it. Left side. Now, I'm very upset. I have a lot of money riding in this game, and I'm pretty sure Young Hoku, fuck, whatever his name is, has pissed a lot of us off because we're losing money based on this guy's fucking wooden leg. Here he is from 42 yards to redeem himself. Not even close. Tug job. Yuck. Get this guy off the field. If I'm the fucking Falcons, I'm going for it no matter what. Fourth and fucking 50. Ugh. Prescott takes the snap. Pressure up the middle. Oh, no. He's rocked. And the fat boy, who, speaking of Thanksgiving, has never missed a meal in his life. And he's going to prance in the end zone even though he's down. Look at the replay. Coming in like fucking kamikaze fighter pilots. Prescott rocked. Fat boy picks it off. And he's down, but he says, fuck it. This is my one time to shine. It's Thanksgiving. Whatever. And David Blow fires it down the field. He's got Galloway, who's going to be gone. Happy Thanksgiving, Detroit answers. What a throw by David Blow. You can call me Dr. Seuss, Peter. I, I made that shit rhyme. Anyways, I'm more amazed that his last name is Blow. You can tell uh, the red phone is ringing again, Peter. Pick it up. It's Buffalo Wild Wings. They think this is a reference to drug use again. It's not. Oh, my. Now they're making us go to a commercial, Peter. I'm getting sick of this. Why did I sell out to corporate America? I hate it. Galloway, anyways. It was not blown coverage. He just fucking burnt him. Left him in the dust. Bye-bye, Birdie. And we're actually getting word it's David Blau. Blow, same thing. And to prevent John Gruden from having a massive heart attack, well, we better keep an eye on him. That's not even fucking close. And judging by Gruden's facial reaction, he's either disgusted or he has a massive hemorrhoid hanging up there deep inside of his asshole. We've only seen this kick twice in the history of mankind. This was the first one. Yanked into this guy's dick. And then the other one was a fucking Madden glitch. Oakland is in big, big trouble. Snap the hold and ain't no shitbag titty fucking here today. Tucker drains it and the Ravens win. Lamar Jackson's excited. Knocks a 49-yard dinger in hurricane-like conditions. And the Ravens win. Ryan drops back, looking, cross the middle, deflected, intercepted by another fat guy. What's going on? Oh, my God! And he tosses him on the ground like a little bitch. Wow. Obviously, Matt Ryan channeling his inner young ho coo. The kicker, it's rubbing off on everybody. Look at the replay. Picked off. Chasing him is Ryan. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? Tosses him out of the club. Whoa. 
Yeah, deep down the field, he's looking at OBJ. He's open. Touchdown. Wow. So the Browns extend the lead. 14 to nothing over the Dolphins. And let's see how they are reacting in Cleveland. We can see how excited they are on the field right now, but it's a whole different scene on the streets as they still can't get off this Mason Rudolph thing. And there is a fucked up, hammered witch who is trying to swing around a helmet, trying to bash in Mason Rudolph's head, just like Miles Garrett did. But the only difference is she's absolutely hammered. She might be on crystal meth, and I don't want any part of this. The Cleveland faithful. Well, they're about to go 10 and two. And you know what that means in New England? Massive panic. There are no receivers left. Gronk went to become a movie star. Antonio Brown, well, we know the story there, uh, allegedly. And Josh Gordon, well, he just got way too fucking high. Brady is now yelling at the remaining receivers he has, and it's not looking good.